for you to live in richly paneled houses while my temple is in ruins? Here then is what the Lord who rules over all says. Think carefully about what you're doing. You have planted much, but have harvested little. Hmm. Normally, if you plant a lot, you should get a lot. But you got to remember that the only way you get a lot is because God blesses what you've done. If he don't bless what you've done, then you're not going to get much at all. I don't care how hard you work and how much you plant. If God don't give the increase, ain't no increase to be got. You drink, but are still thirsty. How in the world can I still be thirsty after I've drank? Because you're not drinking from the right well. You're drinking, but you're drinking what you think the world says is good. I'm drinking up the malls. I'm drinking up the flea market. I'm drinking up, the, I'm drinking up what the world tells me to drink up. But the problem is that stuff right there keeps you wanting for more. So in other words, you ain't drinking the right stuff. You put on clothes, but are not warm. What you dressing with? What kind of clothes you putting on? Are they righteous clothes or raggedy clothes? See, they look righteous to you, but they look raggedy to God. I mean, I, I got this $200. You know, how, you know how folks are, too. They don't just have a leather coat on. Oh, I got this new $200 leather coat on. I got these $100 shoes on. They don't care about the fact that, that, that there's a, a, a pair that's for $9.99 and pay less shoes. They ain't going to tell you how much they cost, but they want you to know when they've spent the money. Then ask them the question, well, how much have you gave the church? <laughs> well, they, they doing fine. The lights is on. Pastor drive a nice car. Everything is wonderful over there, I would imagine. But you didn't answer my question. Yes, How much have you brought back into God's house? Uh, well, I, I, I drove past your, your church the other day, and there's a big corner missing out of, of, of the building. How much you say your shoes were? Well, what they got to do with my shoes? <laughs> well, because obviously God's shoes is off. Because yours are on. There's no way in the world that if we are a people of God, we let his house suffer. There's no reason in the world why we should ever come to a place and there's a foreclosure sign on the front door of the church. There's churches all around this community right now for sale. Trying to figure out how to downsize, how to do something to, to, to maintain and God sends people, members, to a branch of Zion to support that branch. Now, I'm not talking about those who don't have the means. You know who you are, but I'm talking about those who have the means and don't give. And they say, well, it's all right. God says it's not all right. Listen to this. Those who earn wages and end up with holes in their money bags. The world wants you to buy into its system. They send you commercials, advertisements, things in the mail, sales. Matter of fact, what's, what's, what's coming up? Halloween. Halloween sales and Labor Day sales and winter sales and back to school sales. All these sales, and you see the word sale, and your eyes just get wide. And they get so wide, by the time you get to Sunday, you done sailed out and sold out. And there's nothing left for God. But yet when you come, you come expecting to get something from God. Lord, I didn't spend all my money now. Can you give me some more? Well, oh, I tell you what, if I give you 10, can you give me 20 back? Well, you know that whole thing, give.